somewhere else I found out they have a great time is RV City. You know how yeah. you can't go in downtown or out of downtown anytime during Mardi Gras carnival season without seeing all the RVs under the I-10 overpass. You Absolutely, know what I'm talking about? I do. So hundreds of RVs. Are you have you ever been curious who who those RVs belong to? Like are they local? Do they come from out of town? They sit there all month. Are these guys going to work or are they just chilling there for the month because it's Mardi Gras? Yeah, well, guess what? We found out for you and we want you to check it out. Grabbed my photographer, took him out. Let's see who is actually in RV City this morning. The Coleman's have been setting up in RV City during Mardi Gras for years. And if you want to be a part of the city, you have to reserve your spot in advance. They will start usually in what, September? September. Usually September. And can you guess who decides if you get a spot? The mayor of RV City. That's right. Mike uh, Jimenez. Uh, he's the, like the mayor of RV City. And uh, they send out the emails uh, about, you know, when move in day is. Wait a minute, you just said there's a, like, really a mayor of RV City. We call him mayor. Yeah. Him and his wife do all the work, they get it all organized, they just take care of everything. Families like the Coleman's keep going back to RV City year after year. So what's the draw? Well, besides the fact that you don't have to fight the crowds for a parking spot. The draw, it's mostly just a good time and being around family and friends. That's all RV City is. It's a huge community of friends. Even though you live local, it's like a big tailgate party. What is it like here, Fat Tuesday? <laughs> <laughs> you laugh. Oh, this scares me a little. Oh, God, it's crazy. <laughs> it's when everybody comes out. There's people constantly walking, riding in their golf cart, just having fun, especially at the dance floor. The dance floor? Tell me about this dance floor. There's a dance floor. It's on the far end, and they have a DJ that plays music the whole time. Are you going to show us a move? No. Ashley! I don't think <laughs> Tell me more about this DJ. Do you dance? We dance. We get to pick a song and just have fun. What's your favorite song? Wally. I couldn't convince Ashley to show us her dance moves, but Valerie needed no convincing, just music. So I improvised a little. <laughs> okay, maybe I'm not as good, but if I do that, can you do it? Yeah. Okay, all right, ready? Here we go. The wobble. Oh, getting the shoes off and everything. Here we go. <laughs> you don't even need music. You make me want to dance. And it makes these guys want to dance too. Check it out. Have you ever seen this many folks wobbling at one time in the streets of downtown Mobile? That's right, in the middle of Royal Street. We got wobblers here. I, I don't know if I can wobble, Danny. I don't think I can wobble. Right, here, let's see if we can follow. Okay, this is the only part I know. Jump back like this. I can't believe we I can't, can't wobble. This. What this is all this? I know. <laughs> we just kind of dance with our own beat. Oh, okay. Okay, can we do this? We'll just kind of dance. I'm going to stick right. with what I know. <laughs> Mardi Gras is all about having fun, whether you're wobbling in the middle of Royal Street, whether you're just dancing to the beat in your head. Of course, catching beads and moon pies. So much fun here in downtown Mobile. We want you to come down and join us. Just